Hello, this is Andrew with Mr. Remote, and this is a Ubiquiti Unify USW Flex switch. This is a PoE powered switch that also has four additional PoE pass through ports. And I believe this is a managed switch, although the documentation from Ubiquity is very light on whether or not this is managed or not. So that's something that I'll have to test and find out. The idea here is that you would stick this, you can use this to mount it. Basically, you, you power this using some variant of PoE. And I believe you can go all, all from like AF, from AF to BT. And depending on how much power you feed in, it determines the power, total power budget that you can pull out on these other devices, you know, up, up to four devices. And what you'll need to, to feed it in it depends on what you want to connect to it. I am going to try to connect two cameras and an access point to this, and I don't know if the budget will exceed what I can do with my 48 US W48US PoE switch. I, it does PoE plus, but I'm not sure if PoE plus is enough to feed three devices. I hope so. Otherwise, I'll have to use an injector. So it's a, this is rated for outdoor temperatures, but it's not rated for a totally outside installation. If you do put it outside, like on a pole or something, you will want to make sure that you put it in a waterproof, dustproof enclosure. So besides this pole thing, pole mount, let's see what we got in here. We have, oh, zip tie. Another zip tie. I would imagine this is for the poles mount. And then a couple of screws and um, drywall anchors. So let's go put this in the garage. So here we have the flex switch installed in my garage. Um, I have a little bit of legacy stuff here over here that I need to clean up. I have two lines that come into the garage here and with this switch now I'm able to consolidate everything into one. This used to be 24 volt passive and AF for an access point and a couple of cameras. Now I have everything just running off of this one switch that replaces the NSW, the 24 volt passive switch here. Um, unfortunately I don't have a fourth AF device that I could test with this, but all these three AF devices, the two cameras and the access point, are working fine without the need of an extra PoE injector. This is just getting powered straight off with my 48 port PoE Plus switch. So I'm really pleased with that, that I don't need to run an injector. Uh, the performance is in line with what I expect. Uh, I did a quick iPerf test on port five here with everything else running, and I got around 900 megabits per second between that port, my laptop, over that port, and over the 100, maybe 150 feet worth of CAT6 that runs from the garage back to the uh, house. So 100 bucks, pretty good. Really, really pleased with it. Um, I think the whole this whole setup here is using around 17 watts. Um, I'll put an image up here of what the 48 port switch is showing. So, really nice upgrade. Very pleased with it. Hopefully, you found that useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.